here is the proof or evidence from scripture that the Bible is not written by men. Now, let me just throw this in. If God is all powerful and almighty, why is it so easily accepted that men can just grab hold of God's Bible and do with it as they will? We're not talking about twisting scriptures, that's different, but they cannot change the message from God through his word. Now, I'm gonna give you six verses to back up this truth from scripture. The first one is at the start of Jesus' ministry when he took the scroll and read from Isaiah. I'm just gonna read a part here where it says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. After he was done reading the rest of this passage, he said, today in your hearing, the scriptures are fulfilled. So you see, he is declaring to the crowd 2000 years ago that the scriptures that were written are speaking of him. That is the first one. Now, the second scripture we're going to go is here. These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written, listen to this carefully, in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Now, I must spend just a few minutes on this. Now, Jesus just said that the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms were written about him. Think about this. When Jesus said that, there was no New Testament because Jesus is the walking New Testament. That was the complete Bible that they had at the time. They were familiar with this. And Jesus says, this is all about me. Now, here's another thing. People get this misunderstanding that, oh, scholars, nowhere in the Bible is there any such thing as scholars learning how to decipher or understand God's word. It is clear, I just read it to you, that Jesus opened their understanding to the same scrolls that they had prior to his coming. And yet they still didn't understand it until he opened their understanding. Going to school to learn from other humans, don't open your understanding. It is only the Holy Spirit. Jesus also confirmed that, that the Holy Spirit will teach you things to come. He will bring to your remembrance things that I have said to you, referring to his word for those who read the scriptures. And then when you're preaching to others or giving a, a testimony, then the scriptures will just come back to you and then flow through you to bring others to Jesus. So that's the second one. Now, the third one we're going to have here is, listen to this. For if you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? So Moses, hundreds of years before Jesus, and all these uh, religious leaders know of him, and that's who they look up to, Moses, Abraham, and so on. But Moses wrote the laws. That's what they were governed by. And yet Jesus is saying, all oh, this is about me. So you see, people debate scriptures but miss the essence. It's not about clothing or timing and foods and all this stuff. It's all about Jesus and the relationship. Okay? So just to give you the main points here, and then you have to read a little more to get it. Um, more out of it. Now I'm going to go to the fourth one. That is right here. Listen to this carefully. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you then 
the king. Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. Listen. For this cause I was born. Some say, oh, Jesus had to learn. He didn't know what he was here for. That's opinion. Listen to what Jesus himself said. And for this cause I have come into the world that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who hears the truth, anyone, everyone who is of the truth, hears my voice. Where did he come from? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. Scripture backs up Scripture. Now, number five. All Scripture is inspired by God. <laughs> That's awesome. And we are going to close with number six. Now, this is what you must hold on to. Because the entire Bible is for this purpose. You search the scriptures for in them, you think you have eternal life. Yet these are they which testify of me, but you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. Debating scriptures don't save a person. Jesus himself said, come to him that you may have life. Is the inspired word of God. Jesus confirms it. I just speak what's in the scriptures to you. Pass it on to bless others. I'm Pastor Rich, Walking Ministries Online, and I will see you soon. <laughs>